speaking of Spongebob games, I'm playing one of my personal favorite games called Geometry Bros. I've been, I always played it on Xbox, but I bought it on PC today as it was in sale. So, um, it's a very simple arcade game style. It was originally a game for, um, Project uh, Gotham Racing or something. It was a, uh, like a mini game thing. Not really a mini game, just like an arcade thing you could do. Um, it falls in the cap of easy to learn, but hard to master. I, I say, um, this game was running via pro time, but it's uh, th um, the third game in the series, the third mainline game in the series had a native Linux pro. Um, second, uh, the second game never made it to PC. Um, but the first game came out to Linux, the third game, I mean, and I played on Linux, and it runs pretty well on Linux. Natively. I'm gonna try it with like the uh, Linux compatibility layer and FreeBSD at some point. Maybe that'll be my next video, probably. This is the bug making the OS super sp slow and buggy. Well, it's super slow. I don't know if it's a bug. But like, it's so incredibly slow. In my case. And this game is actually relatively easy to record and play. Like, with like Minecraft Dungeons or some game like that, it's kind of a pain in the ass to record and play. Damn it. We died. Well, not we. Me. Why would I just hide in this hole? That'd be an idea. But I'm just, yeah, I could just hide in the hole and do a cheating strategy. That must, that, that's just loosened. Well, tomorrow's 20, uh, today's, uh, Friday the 31st, so, um, of December. So I use it must be 2022. That's fun. That's gonna be such a good year. I, I don't think so. It's probably gonna be the sa same crappy year, or even worse, honestly, I'd assume, than uh, last year. But, um, honestly, a little reflection. I think Linux has probably had a really good year. Um, Easy Attitude is coming to Linux, but I is already out for Linux and Proton and Wine and all. Um, performance is greatly improved. Compatibility is greatly improved. Um, the Steam Deck is getting released. There's a lot of great stuff in the Linux community. I would feel like, um, also even the BSD had a pretty good view. Especially for gaming in the slider half of the year. Like, um, DXVK has gotten working in a BSD, um, take a one, they have a pretty good Linux compatibility layer. The only problem is it's usually relatively old Linux. Is a problem. I mean, a relatively old Linux distro, um, based on, like, I think it's either CentOS 7. It might be 8 now, but at least it's for the longest time it's been on a 7. So for a while, we, um, like in about 2016, um, it was set to send to 6, which means it was kind of slow, you couldn't do Steam stuff. Now it's 7. And a lot of more games are compatible, like Bioshock like, Infinite, which is one of my personal favorites. I actually own the game in Steam now. And it is a native Linux game. Ones in bare metal. Or what did I say bare metal? You know, I don't really know what I meant. It's like 12 a.m. I'm really tired. But I kind of want to make a video today. So. Um. This game is like two 
like a dollar ninety nine or like the last thing is like a dollar fifty or something. So if you really want this game, it's pretty cheap on sale. It's on sale until like the fifth. I think this year's sale has been a pretty good year, honestly. I mean, at least for me, I got I picked up a few games. Uh. I thought you check the leaderboards. So where would you do this? Yeah, if I actually play the game like a wheel man, I suppose. Um, I'm using a 360 controller and it's working really well. To be fair, the game is kind of designed for a 360 controller and an Xbox controller. Actually, I think you have to do some configuration if you want to use any other controller. Well, what I like about a 360 controller is they have great learning compatibility. Like, pretty much any application that has control support will support a 360 controller. Uh, like a few DOG games, um, Enter the Gungeon, uh, Study Valley. I already own Study Valley, but it's kind of like if I have to do a LAN party with some of my friends, it would be kind of nice to have the GOG version. I got Enter the Gungeon and the DLC thing. Um, I also got Assassin's Creed 1. I mean, I was always going to get in Steam, but I realized, like, it's in GOG, why not? I mean, honestly, if I, like, here's my rule. If, I, if the game is in GOG, I'll buy it on GOG. Unless the game has, like, online features or something. Then I'll use, like, buy it in Steam, as I don't have GOG Galaxy, really. Pretty much my dad buys the game and his account, and that's pretty much how it works. I mean, it's fine. It's GOG. It's not like, um, it is works pretty well. I mean, I mean, most of my games are on Steam. I have, I do play a few games from, I have, uh, I usually try to, especially a lot of them are pretty good patches, like uh, Fall, uh, Fallout 3 has great support. Um, only problem is I see one in a few years when the game gets, uh, I mean, I suppose I can just, like, stick him in a drive, I suppose, and just drive, I suppose, um, stick him in a drive. I don't even know, because most of the games, uh, that I feel like would have, um, updates, I probably have on Steam. It's really, like, about, uh, Steam sales. They're pretty good, honestly. Like, a lot of company sales are kind of lame. Like, I, like, uh, Blizzard probably has the best sell in, actually, probably, like, December, right, and it's, um, like, Black Friday. Honestly, even the Steam New Year sale wasn't that bad. I mean, I picked, like, one game or two. Um, uh, like, Battle Blocks has a pretty good game. Maybe I'll check it out. I'll uh, pick a video on it. I think when I die again, I will probably make it probably in the video today because it's getting relatively um long. Not like super long, but I'm saying. I do occasionally do some editing. I don't have a match to really edit this video today if I don't really feel like it. Um, I usually try to edit. Yeah. Um, I'm probably just not gonna end up doing it today because I don't have like too much reason to edit anyways. I don't really have any multiple clips, so really anything to say. It's not like a guide or anything. Probably gonna take like a few hours to edit the last video. I know it's not that good of a video, but honestly, um I did do a lot of, I had to do some text and I also had to do some corrections with the audio. As my voice is relatively low as I have to have it set low or else you get my signature audio. Up guys, um, let's, let's find this with my uh, Ninja Souls, uh, KSP, a couple of Ninja Souls, dang it. I guess it's gonna be a KSPC, so KS. Uh, C, 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 um, P. So it's a KSPC because I, oh, crap. You know, I, I don't care anyone else, but also have like a random name. 
Yep. Fascinating. I don't really care. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful day, guys, and goodbye.